Well, today I wanted to kind of do just a, a, a basic receiver sensitivity test. Uh, I've had this, uh, it's going to be done on this radio here. It's an ICOM uh, ICR100 communications receiver. I've had this thing for a while. It's been sitting on the shelf for a number of years. I just haven't been using it. So I figured this would be a good a good test here and uh, something that uh, pretty much anybody can do with a, a signal generator and an RMS AC voltmeter. It's, uh, this method is called the 20 dB quieting method. And uh, it's a... Uh, it's not quite a, the Synad test, uh, which is more accurate, but uh, this is something you can do uh, if you got an old uh, FM receiver and you, or a, a 2 meter rig or 440 rig and you want to just do a general test of the receiver to kind of see if it's, you know, uh, to see if it's working okay, this test will do it just fine. So let me get everything set up and we'll uh, step right through it. So to start this measurement, we have this uh, receiver on uh, an open squelch, no signal, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get set a voltage reading. I'm going to use the uh, the dB scale just for simplicity, and so we turn up the volume on the receiver until I get to try to get to zero dB. That's probably going to be about close enough, so maybe a little bit less. It's kind of touchy here. All right, well, I'm going to call it good because it's just bouncing back and around. And it uh, looks like we also have a voltage reading of around... It settles back down again. The point... I'm going to guess... I'm going to say 0.77 volts RMS. Now, we have... A signal generator all set up to go and we're going to send a signal of 0.3 microvolts to the receiver and watch what happens here see we're at all right on 0.3 microvolts and now we have a voltage reading of around 0 0.06 volts and we'll drop this down we have about my uh, about 22 and a half dB of quieting. That's pretty good. So yeah, it's uh, I'd say that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, about uh, minus uh, 22 dB of quieting or so. So we can also double check that with this formula here. Uh, so we can go to the old handy calculator here and uh, let's see uh, at uh, point zero 0.06 volts divided by 0.77 and you take the logarithm of that and 20 times so yeah that's showing about 22 dB which is about what we're getting here. So I would say that's a, uh, a pretty good test there. Uh, one other thing we could try is we could try maybe uh, I could do this again on another band, but uh, I wanted just to make this really a short video. It's, uh, it's been a long day and I'm figuring something to do, but I figured this might be something fun to play with. Yeah, let's turn this back off and now we should be back up around where we were yeah you turn the uh, receiver back on and boy it just plummets so we go to the minus 10 dB scale and we're definitely down there a ways but anyhow yeah this is a uh, uh, this is a test that I do use occasionally. Uh, I do have uh, a method of using or measuring Synad, but I'm kind of still experimenting with that. I'm basically using this uh, this DSP unit to remove the kilohertz tone that's required to make these measurements. So maybe I'll uh, once I kind of get that down a little bit, I'm still experimenting, and I'm at least able to get really close, or you know, to the uh, to the specifications listed in the manuals. 
But then I got a few little quirks I got to work out and figure out a couple of things. So that uh, I think I'll uh, call this a short video good for now. See you next time.